Louisa Vanza, that was a difficult day out there, but you actually made it look quite easy. Oh yeah, it was pretty tricky, but I like light winds. And we just said, yeah, stick to the basic, don't get big numbers. And then we are happy with the day. And I think we managed that quite well, but it was definitely tricky. Well, the way you describe it, it sounds, it, you, you make it sound easy, but we, we know that it's never easy in the 470 fleet, is it? But everyone is, is new. How are you making it work between you and your crew, Philip? So after Olympic Games last year, um, Philip convinced me to start quite soon. So uh, he really supported me because I want to finish my studies and he fully supported me. So we really started quite early. I think we started already in October. I finished my studies, Philip was doing everything. I just needed to jump in the boat. So yeah, there was a big, big help and I feel very grateful for that. So yeah, I think we were a bit ahead already in the beginning of the season and now it just pays off a bit. You had quite a dramatic 2021, didn't you? I mean, I, I followed your progress from a distance, uh, qualifying for the games. Um, having a really amazing season and then doing really well at the games but also having that penalty and, and not quite getting to the medals. That must have been a, a, a big emotional year for you. Oh yeah, it was super big but I was so grateful every like anyway that I made it to the Olympics and for all the support I had and that we still managed to finish sixth with these two disqualification in the beginning. So looking back now, I think I got like wiser with it, older with it, I learned a lot. But in that moment it was really hard, definitely. Did it ever make you think about giving up? Oh uh, yes, so I came back from Japan, I never wanted to see a boat again, <laughs> but then speaking with Philip, um, yeah, he's a really good crew, so that gave me like a lot of um, happiness then, and then we tried it, and he's a really nice person to sail with, and so I had like big, yeah, big uh, good feeling in continuing then. You had a great partnership with Anastasia, and now you're competing against Anastasia here in the European Championships in Turkey. How does that feel? Are you looking at each other thinking, I'm, I'm going to beat you because I want to prove that I'm better than you? <laughs> no, I think for now we just like try to get the best outcome for the whole squad. So we try to push each other, but yeah, we are focused for like that Germany gets the best sailing results. And yeah, it's still a long time until the trials, so we're still easy looking for the best improvements. It's a funny relationship when you have to work together as, as a team and try and make it as good for Germany as you can. But at some point, you have to break off relations and you have to start racing against each other for that one place in the Olympics. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, let's see when we get there. <laughs> Still a lot of time until there. So yeah, let's see when we get there. What do you think about Chesme Turkey? You've seen everything so far here. Uh, well, I've seen the boat park and my apartment so far, <laughs> so we've been quite busy, but the bay looks amazing from the water and I really love Turkey. I have never been here before and I'm so positively like surprised. People are so friendly, the water is amazing. I go every morning for a swim, every second I have free time and yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Louisa, you are having a lot of fun and you're doing incredibly well. Third in these, world, uh, in these European Championships, all the best for the rest of the regatta. Thank you so much.